all right welcome back to the channel guys all right so today is my birthday and my lovely husband and children bought me for my birthday gift a set of the deco art dazzling metallic acrylic paints um, and they've got me pretty much every color the only color i don't have is the red so i'm going to swatch these out and i thought why not do it on camera for you guys to see as well um yeah so basically i'm just going to be swatching them out in my little notebook that i'm going to use um, i've got another one that i just do like um, experiments in and plan my pages out and stuff like that but i'm going to start putting um swatches i guess of my pencils and stuff into this book so it's a little portable um book to take with me and i just realized how dirty my desk is goodness me okay that's going to need a clean tomorrow <laughs> Um, but anyway, so I'm going to be um, swatching them out in my little notebook. It's not art paper or anything like that. It's just a cheap, inexpensive book um, to, to do that in. So if it buckles, I don't really care. Um, it's just for me to see the colours. So anyway, let's get started. So I might do the bright colours. Uh, actually, no. I'm going to do the black first because I'm interested to see what that's coming out like. So basically I'm gonna do a little dot on the page, smush it out, um, and then pop the name next to it. So this one is uh, Black Pearl, it's called. Um, so yeah, there's not really any point to me doing this on camera, it's just for fun. Um, just showing you guys as well, so. Hey Hunter my little dude Ooh, okay yeah it's definitely pearlescent not black black but if you're putting it over black it would look pretty any like it would give it that shine um which would be really pretty so this one actually i might i'll just write the names on them later save you guys some time all right let's do rich espresso espresso so it's like a brownie color just gonna shake it up so I'll make sure it's I probably should have shaken them up before but I didn't think that far ahead <laughs> I took the packages off all right so we'll do a dot come on out all right rich espresso just get that brush all right <gasps> Ooh, that's pretty Ooh, very nice Ooh, I love these colors already. That's so pretty. It's probably really hard to tell on the video, but trust me, it's really pretty. <laughs> All right, next one. So we've done that one and we've done that one. Let's do silver. I might actually have to put these names on as we go down a bit further. Some of these are a bit similar. All right, so this one is Shimmering Silver. I love the stickers on them too. The stickers are all metallic as well. All right, dab that off. Let's go Shimmering Silver. Ooh, pretty. Wow, all these colors are beautiful. Oh, as they dry, oh my goodness, they're even getting shimmer more shimmery as they dry. What I will do is at the end, I'll stop the video, let them dry and come back and show you what they look like dry as well, because they are beautiful. Um, let's do gold. So this is called Venetian gold. Let's have a look at this one. Oh my goodness, they're all so pretty. Okay. Dot. Ooh, that's already shimmery. Venetian gold. Oh my goodness, that's really pretty. Oh, these are just beautiful. So the plan with these is to use them in my coloring books um, for things like borders or details or anything really. It's not um, not limited, I guess, which is really cool. Um, I will be playing around with these a lot. Okay, so let's go white pearl. So this is a white, white pearl. Let's have a look. Oh, it's all coming out. Okay, let's just scoop that off. OK, 
okay oh my goodness oh that's so pretty I'm just gonna scrape a bit of that off white pearl that's really beautiful this would actually be like really pretty as a layer on like fairy wings and things like that or over clouds actually would be really pretty oh yes clouds I'm just gonna wipe that off it does have a bit of an acrylic -y smell to it too so it does have a bit of a smell which I don't mind I'm used to using alcohol markers so nothing smells as bad as what they do I think kind of get used to having a bit of a smell oh my goodness that's so pretty actually that would be really nice like on my moons and stuff that I've been coloring in um let's go another oh let's do mink pearl mink pearl it's kind of like a rose gold maybe I guess a bit of a light pink rose gold all right let's just let it settle for a second so it doesn't pop up the top again all right, so, ooh, okay, that's an interesting color. Oh, I like that. That is pretty. Yeah, definitely like a rose gold, but like a really light pink. That's beautiful. Mink pearl, okay. And the last sort of, mid, like in that sort of, neutrally range is champagne gold so it's more of a um a lighter gold so let's have a look at this one oh that's pretty too that's like really shiny if you up so i can see <gasps> that's really nice so it's definitely not as gold as the other one it's more, yeah, definitely like a champagne gold. It's, oh, but the shimmer in that is beautiful. I can't wait to show you these dry, guys. These are gorgeous. Okay, so we're going to come back up to the top. And we're going to do, this one's beautiful. Copper. So let's have a look at copper. Blub. Okay, that paintbrush. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. Too much on that one. That is just stunning. Ooh, I cannot wait to use these. That's beautiful. Okay, let's, we're going to get into some more of the brighter colors. I've only got two, four, five left and I need to order the red one. So I need to leave a space at the bottom for the red. Um, so this one is festive green and I think the red is called festive red. The one that I have ordered. Blub. Blub of the green. Let's have a look at you. Ooh, okay, he's a lot sheerer. Maybe I just didn't put enough. Let me give him another shake. Definitely more. Um, oh no, maybe I just didn't shake it well enough. So give him a good shake. <laughs> okay, so it's not as sheer that time. Okay, and let's go with, ooh, teal. Love anything teal. Teal's just such a beautiful color. They're starting to cause a shadow, so I'm gonna move them out of the way. All right. Teal. <gasps> ooh, I can see I like this one already. Oh my goodness. And I put way too much on. Oh, lordy lord, that on like a mermaid's crown or like under the sea theme kind of stuff would just be so beautiful. So beautiful. Love, love, love. 
Okay, let's do blue next. Give them a good shake. Okay, so this blue is called Ice Blue. Beautiful. I love their stickers. I love how they're metallic-y. All right. I love. Ooh, this looks pretty. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, my goodness. I think that this one is probably my second favorite so far. Love that. All right. Let's go with Purple Pearl. Can't wait to get the red too. It's going to be beautiful. Okay, so Purple Pearl. Oops, I don't think I mixed that enough because it looks watery. Let's give it a wipe and a redo. You can see it looks watery there. Okay. Give it more shake. Let's try that again. That's better. Okay. Give it a wipe. Oh, that's way better. Oh my goodness. Wow. So it's like a lilac-y purple, I would say. And the last one that I have, I'll leave a spot for my red down here, is berry so it's like a pinky purple color pop that in the bin okay let's have a look at this one oh taking it off already oh dear okay let's just scoop him off here okay so that's like a i would say like a fuchsia or like a um what do you call it So I got way too much on there. Like a berry, yeah, like a berry red. It's very pretty. And last spot will be for the red one once it comes. So they're still wet at the moment. So let's come up and have a closer look. That shine though, oh my goodness. Look at that shine. Holy guacamole, man. I am impressed and the um, opacity is pretty good on them too. Even the white, like I can see the white very clearly. It's hard to see it probably so much in the video, but it's beautiful. And yeah, the opacity on them is terrific. The only one would be the black. It looks a little bit more gray because it has the glitter in it. Um, all the pearlescent stuff, but it's, yeah, it's there. But my favorite I think is going to be this one. Like. You can't really see it, but oh, that shine and the pigment in it is just beautiful. And then I absolutely love this one here. And then I think probably going to be the blue is either second or third. But I love all of them. So I'm going to give them a dry off, let them dry off. And I'm going to come back and show you guys once they're dry as well. And I'll pop the names on them as well um, after that. But I'll show you guys once they are dry. I shall be back. All right, we are back with the finished dried paints and this is how they came out. Oh my gosh. I am so impressed. So, so, so impressed with these. How freaking beautiful. Wow. Like how good does that white stand out? Like, oh. This one here, the champagne gold, is freaking beautiful. And the berry, oh my god, they're just so beautiful, guys. I can't even tell you how beautiful they are. I can't wait to use these in my books. I am so freaking excited. And I can't wait for that red to come either. It's going to um, be about two weeks before it arrives, but that's okay. I am so impressed. Anyway, guys, just something a little bit fun um, to do with you guys on camera and show you but why not I'm doing it anyway so yeah they are beautiful I am so impressed very impressed awesome present very thankful to my hubby and kids for getting those for me um I also got them on sale they were down to five dollars 35 each I think 
down from about no, seven or eight, I think it was. So yeah, a bit of a bargain there as well. All right, guys, have a great week and we will see you next time. Bye.